I don't like those fast camera times. Ah! Good evening, or should I say good morning, family? It's your boy, Cozy Joe, and we are back with another analog horror, y'all. Now, this video is gonna be a mixture of analog horror and maybe some horror short films. I don't know, it, it might it might mostly be analog horror, to be real. But let me shut up, man. So without further ado, y'all, I hope y'all like and subscribe, and let's enjoy the show. Happy Child Cases, part one. I don't really know who is it by because it's in Japanese typing. So, um... Yo, Japanese dude, if you're watching this, arigato, thank you for this video. You know what I'm saying? Let's hop right into it, man. All right, happy child case. Um, happy in Kentucky. Okay, so. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. How did we just go from a kid's playground to goddamn black slender man? Let me shut up. Let's keep watching, bro. All right, so it's an eyewitness. Something must have been something must have been going on with these kids or something, bro. You know, kids got a very crazy imagination. According to the description, it has a tall black shadow. Uh huh. About to point five times the height of an adult male. Okay. It can make children laugh in a tree. That's one thing I don't get about kids in analog horror. Not even just analog horror, in horror in general, bro. I said horror in general. What? Horror in general, bro. Kids will see the most horrifying things beyond human comprehension, like these two niggas. And they'd be like, oh no, that's just my best friend. He's very funny. He's very hilarious, too. He makes funny faces. If my kid talking about that, and I don't, I don't support child abuse, but if my kid talking about that, you're going to be Bart Simpson around your neck. <laughs> and you're going to the adoption joint, bro. That's real. Ain't nothing funny. That's crazy. Video document, Kentucky Police Department. Hey, bro, you misspelled department. I'm just saying, you you just you just misspelled department. <laughs> Nigga, go to the gym and work out. You walking and you huffing and pussing like that, bro? <laughs> I don't like those fast cameras. <laughs> I got teary eyed. You know what I'm saying? I don't got I don't I don't got a good camera quality on my webcam, so y'all can't see the teary eyed, but I'm teary eyed. Go and buy a happy child, nigga. Nigga, go eat a dick. How about that? People who witness happy child often have a loose okay. Experiment record. Wait, hold up. Is this some type of translation error? Happy should be on the left and unhappy should be on the right. Buddy right there don't even look happy anyway. He just got leather faced. Hey, this music kind of slaps though. Yeah, Nigga, where your nose at? Niggas don't kill Stuart Little. Is Stuart Little the rat, bruh? Was that the child? I can't remember. I don't know. They don't kill the, the nigga from the Christmas story, bruh. Okay, so that was it. I was I, I was staring at that red bar. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to pause it before it gets to the next video. You get what I'm saying? Yo, this one's creepy. This one's creepy. I did not like... Hold up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. 
I don't know. I don't I don't even want to click on it again to be real. All I know is I did not like that loud screech, bro. Good one, my nigga. Good one. Stone Cold, and I ain't talking Steve Austin. All right, so we in Africa. What the? Okay. All right. I'm rocking with these analog horrors, man. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All mm -hmm. normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is not, this a, test. Is not a test. Please stand by. This is not a test. Please stand by. Please stand by. Okay. Hey man, I better not get copyrighted, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you, you put in all these classical Looney Tune music in this stuff, bro. This is a national emergency. During the past night, we have received multiple sightings and reports of so-called demon eyes. We have been fighting what? hard to eliminate the virus through sanitation and quarantine of the. How you gonna get rid of that with sanitizer? If you don't put some holy water inside that water bottle, bro, and start squirting. What? You know what? You, you know I was about to say something that I cannot say on here. Because then YouTube is going to be like, you can't say that because that's way too controversial. But y'all know what I mean. Infected. With severe losses among our ranks, we have resorted to cleansing the contaminated of our country. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Don't pay attention to this message during the next few minutes of all costs. Okay. Hey, is this real? Chat, is this real? But what exactly is this issue to us citizens? For now, we, and all official announcements that should follow, will refer to the viral infection as the Medusa virus. The Medusa virus is spread through direct, sustained eye contact with the infected person. That's terrible. At the current moment, we have not been able to conduct any tests relating to the pathogen or virus. Okay. It's... What should you do to help out? Where shades? should only be used for absolute emergency. This does not include communication before certain death. Wow. Lock all doors if possible, and blind all windows. Do not attempt to go outside, Stay and inside. do not attempt to help help the infected. When in close vicinity of an infected individual, keep your head down and do not attempt to look at their eyes. My nigga. I would say this though, I would say this though, right? Have some shades, and put some little googly eyes on them. Have some shades and put some googly eyes on them. You might survive. You might survive. I'm just saying, bro. Avoid human interaction at all costs. Do not attempt to blind yourself. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Which will all last two minutes. Contamination through eye contact. Two hours later. Quick question, y'all. What will y'all do in this situation? You know, me personally, I'm a man of God. You know what I'm saying? So I would say I'll take the easy way out. But you know, I'll just pray so much and be like, hey man, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Because I don't wanna I don't I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go through this. Long term solution or returning turning to normal life. Tell your children goodbye and do whatever you need to do before the end. This is the final goodbye. I repeat, this is the final goodbye. Oh Hey! No! No! <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? Hold up. Hold up. Let's let's just kind of just backtrack a little bit. Boom, right there. I'm just glad it wasn't no loud noise. But that right there was absolutely uncalled for. In analog horror, bro, stuff like this, they'd be like, okay, you can't go outside. You can't even be on the phone. Don't even be around your loved ones. But do make sure you tell your children your loved ones goodbye and make sure you keep them safe, but you can't be around them though. Don't eat, don't drink, because they might be contaminated and very infectious. Matter of fact, my nigga, don't even go to sleep because they can sneak into your air vents. It's just, you know, you got so many of these strict tail rules it, it, it even tell you don't even look at TV because they know that you're watching. You got so many of these strict tail rules you know, it's kind of like, you know, man, at this point, I might as well just give myself in or take the easy way out because don't actually take the easy way out. 
All right. I'm not I'm not encouraging that. You know, don't do that. If you, if you ever have thoughts of that, please talk to somebody. But, you know, in, in these type of situations, man, it's, what do you do? What could you do? All right. So this one is called The Kid and the Camera, a short horror film. It's also supposedly supposed to be like an analog horror. I've been seeing this video pop up on my page and just never really got to it that much. It's by Grumble Entertainment or Films. I don't know. Please forgive me if you're watching this. Let's hop right into it, y'all. This is Reading Rainbow. Why that moon? But why did that moon look like he on dope? The kid in the camera. Once upon a star, there lived a boy named Kalen. Certainly. He was a happy little tot of six years old. Oh. And on his birthday. He received a very special gift. Okay. His very own photo camera. Kalen loved the camera. So, you know, you at the age of six years old, you're just going to ask for a camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to ask for no Legos, no WWE wrestlers. You're not going to ask for a, a, a PSP or PS2 game. You want a camera, my nigga? You know, what, what you going to take? What you going to take pictures of, huh? Ants? Hmm? You gonna take a picture of Miss Susie next door? What's up, what's up with you, little bruh? So much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. A picture here, a picture there. Until one day, a terrible accident happened. You big dummy. So hold up. You telling me you looking down, matter of fact, and your camera picked it up too. So I'm pretty sure you looking through the camera. You didn't see that big old tree branch? You did that on purpose. You did that on purpose for uh, for, for uh, suspense, storytelling. You did that on purpose, bro. Someday, a terrible accident happened. You big dummy. Damn, bro. Did you just throw it up? And the camera broke. Kalen didn't sleep a wink. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera late into the That nigga got a quick. That he is not six years old. He's 30. He does not look six. That nigga is at least 40 years old, bro. Don't you open up that window. Caleb. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window. A large winged creature. Nigga, what is that? Hello there, young lad. Greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed. Your sleep fairy. Huh? Sleep fairy? That is correct replied the Kipsneed. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep, but it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason. Wait a minute, bro. What's up with these little kids in horror movies that got sleep fairies? You know, you got a food fairy, you got a hair fairy, you got a tooth fairy, you got sleep fairy. You might even got pee pee fairy. But what is the sleep fairy doing to you at night? Might need to check these little kid shows out, man. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. I'm saying. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. Strangers? I'm no stranger. I know all the girls and boys around the globe. Hey, bro, pause, man. Parents, Yo. Homes. Lock this ugly nigga up, man. Lock him up. First, he gonna hit you with a stance like this. Stranger? I'm no stranger. If you see somebody talking to you like that, lock him up. Call the cops. Run some, run some type of record on him. I'm pretty sure he been tickling little boys and girls. You know, that's just real. This nigga looks nasty. Look at his nose. Their names? Why? I even know your name. Kalen. Now, oh, Kalen. Would a stranger know your name? Kalen thought on it for a moment. Not supposed to be. No, I guess not. If you must know why I'm awake. It's my camera. It's broken. Is it that serious, though? Just like that. 
tears welled up in Kaylin's eyes. Let me see. Nick, you're a sleep fairy, not a fixed fairy. And the Gipsneed had an idea. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. You could do that? Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my homeworld. You had to I'll come with me, though. Portal. Just follow my voice. And the Kipsneed disappeared into the night. My thing is, I'll just be like, Can why do I got, it? why do I got to follow you? Can't you just go over there and fix it and bring it back and drop and put it on the doorstep? You know, Close behind the kips. I guess whenever you're a child, you don't really think of that. Snapping photos to mark the way in case of getting lost. So it's still functioning. You just got a crack screen, bro. It's still functioning, little bro. Shoot, I deal with that with my iPhone. At last, Kaylin reached a house. Caleb a dummy, bro. You a dummy, Kaylin. Look, even the house is distorted. The house is probably not even there. Thought the boy. And dark. But there was the Kips Needs voice again. Beckoning. The portal to my home world's inside. Come along. Ain't no way, bro. You can't be serious, Kaylin. I must have my camera fixed. So, fight of his obvious fright. Kaylin marched into the home. Mm. Oh, the entire house is distorted, Kaylin. It's not even real, bro. He 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 gonna come across dead little kids. Oh nah, bro. Why is eyes looking like that? Y'all help me out. Help me out. What not what? Y'all see anything? I, I I don't. Not yet. Kaylin know he messed up. He know he messed up. Look at him. Look at him. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offense side eye. Caleb's got he's dead. He's dead. You idiot. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. Dang. The rest of the boy was never found. So you just gonna leave the dogs out like that? You know what's crazy, bro? You know, I'm 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 out I'm out here, you know, spitting out little jokes and whatnot. But stuff like that really be happening. Like seriously, bro. That's how, like kids are so gullible, dude. Because it can be something. Like for for example, right, this is a kid's favorite little toy. I don't know if y'all see it. But let's say it breaks. The whole neighborhood finds out he's real sad. Somebody they run into Caleb. I mean, well, they run into that, that little child. Be like, what's wrong, man? You look pretty sad. And child be like, oh, I mean, I don't break, I don't broke my toy. Well, I know how, how to fix it. You just gotta come to my house. We got candy. There's other kids, you know, got sodas. You can eat all you want while I fix your toy. And unfortunately, the child will listen. 
because you know people know child's needs and wants you know candy toys sodas you know anything that's sweet it doesn't matter if it, if it's a stranger or the or, or 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 saying that hey we can be best friends those are like keywords to kids and they use those against kids bro they you know they lure the kids into their domain and you know, Lord, Lord knows what what else happens. It's 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 actually mad sad, bro. That's why, like, sometimes I be out in public and I be seeing people, they be with their kids, but their kids be like ten, seven feet away from them. It's like, Nikki, if you don't grip onto that child's hand, bro, it's way too many perverts out here. It's way too many, way too many perverts out here, bro. But all right, y'all, man, I'm about to go ahead and end it right there um please let me know if y'all want to check out some more analog horrors with your boy man and and with that being said man let's y'all stay blessed y'all stay safe and y'all stay cozy man cozy joe's out little piece of chicken grease